Hello and welcome to a tea chunk video where I keep these videos short as possible. Now today I have seen the movie The Isle of Dogs. Now I'm going to give you this in three ways. The plot, cast, and final thoughts. The story is based 20 years in the future in Japan where all the dogs of Japan for some reason suffer from a disease called dog flu and they are immediately sent to an island known as Trash Island and a 12 year old boy named Atari tries to find his dog who was sent to Trash Island the voices include Bill Murray Jeff Goldblum, Scarlett Johansson, and Yoko Ono. That's right, the widow of John Lennon. For the youngsters watching out there. <laughs> My final thoughts of the movie. Wow. Just wow. I mean, I've been looking forward for this movie to be released since it was advertised. It had a great storyline. It's funny. It had its wow moments, like whoa. So if you watch this movie, you you could be in for a few surprises. The voice of Scarlett Johansson is amazing. I just love the voice of Scarlett Johansson. I think she has to do more animation films. And I don't mean like, you know, cheap slapstick. Like, I don't, well, I, I do like slapstick, but not pointless slapstick. Like, cheap puns or anything not like, oh I don't know, Adventure Time and The Amazing World of Gumball and not so good animation films that uh, I don't know it's too kid friendly like, or uh, I don't know uh, the new, newly released Duck Duck Goose, Hotel Transylvania 3, plus others. But I think Scarlet has to do films similar to the one in the Jungle Book. And you, if you've seen that film, you know who she, who she plays on that. She's got this... I don't know... She's got, she has a really good voice for characters, serious characters, serious. She's more of a character that does like, she's just great. She's, she really is. And she really, she's, re she really is a gem on that film. She really is. There was some humour with uh, Bill Murray and Jeff Goldblum. I think that's all I can say at this point. Because I don't want to spread spoilers. And I think I've learnt that lesson from when I reviewed the Smurfs The Lost Village last year. But basically this is a short and brief review of The Isle of Ducks. Which I would give, I would say cinema wise, I'd give... Four and a half stars. 
and yes I would watch it again <laughs> I plan to actually I plan to watch it again um, it's a very enjoyable tense alerting film if you would like me to do any more film reviews and if you care enough please send a comment below so everyone that's my chunk video and I'll end this like I say with all my T-Log videos and that's Brohoof and goodbye